Folks, y'all are in for a treat this morning because I am going to make French toast. Now, how did, I, how did I decide to make French toast? Well, I said, okay, what do I got? I got some bread. I got six eggs. I got some butter. I just so happened to have this honey caramel syrup. Uh, best for coffee, drinks, and bakes. But you know what? I'll mix it with a little bit. I mean, I got like that much pancake syrup left. We should be able to have some great tasting French toast. Now look, French toast, it ain't rocket science. But the first thing you got to do any cooking operation is turn the gas on. Alright, so all my bachelors out there, just observe. All you do is put some eggs in there, take your fork like this, and just go ahead and whisk that up. You don't need a whisk, you don't need a blender. Don't believe anything Gordon Ramsay tells you. Okay, just a fork. Just one fork. Made in China, silver in color, one each. And once you whisk that up, you're halfway there. That's it. All right. Okay, get them dog bowls out of the way. Well, you got to have your dog bowls ready. Step two is to safely light your uh, cooking apparatus. So without blowing yourself up. There we go. I'm just gonna blow myself up here. Oh, boom. Boom, finesse, we got a tune out of this trombone. Step three, get your butter ready. Pop that down into the pot. There we go. Man. Get that, get that butter going in the large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker. And folks, that piece of gear right there is made in America by the good folks down in South Pittsburgh, Tennessee, my friends. And this is all you gotta do. Just, just put your bread down there in the swimming pool. Have the bread go swimming. Flip them over on this side, have them go swimming. Give them a little squish. Just let it soak up some like a sponge. Make sure you get your butter all, all spread around there. Take that dude, let him drip off some of the excess, and just drop them in there. That's it, that's all you gotta do. Get you another piece ready. Flip it over. That's too easy. Make sure you got enough butter in there so it don't burn. What I like to do is kind of spin it around. Hope we got the right angle on the dangle. Soak up that butter and flip it. I don't want it, I don't want it to burn. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful in that large cast iron skillet. Oh yeah, look at that starting to brown up. There you go, folks. There you go. There's your finished product right there. There's your finished product. Oh, Lord, got that one all messed up. I got to put my butter in there. That's all right, spin it around, soak up the butter. Look at that. Piece number two. Beautiful. There you go. There's a stack of French toast fit for a king and a queen. My daughter wants eggs, so okay, no problem. Use some of the leftover eggs. Get around that large. Voila! Ooh. 
go ahead and kill the heat. Look at that. Could just make a big old fried egg. We'll do that, make a big fried egg. Now kill the heat on the large 3.2 quart cast iron combo cooker because it's got enough heat in it to finish that egg. It's no problem. No problem whatsoever. Look at that. I'm so confident in my abilities. I don't need to restart the heat. I know it's gonna cook it. Beautiful fried egg there. Look at that, no, no sticking, no nothing, no burning. Folks, if you're not cooking in cast iron, you just don't know what you're missing. Go ahead and get this thing a flip. Look at that, beautiful, beautiful flip, beautiful fried egg. Like I said, my heat's already off. Uh, it's just a work of art. Absolute work of art. Look at that right there. Just a little bit of syrup. Beautiful. Not too much. Don't want to make it too sweet. All right, look at there. There's your final product. Look at that right there. Just all onto the baby's plates. Look at that for a breakfast. Old single dad knocking it out of the park. And since I need this bowl, I'll just drop them back in there to stay warm. Put that right there. Some more egg for the babies. A little syrup, not too much. There you go. And rub that in. There we go. Now I gotta cut it up for them though. Here you go, there's a Sprite. Y'all can 50-50. Daddy, 50-50 at the baby. Is it yummy? Yummy. Yummy? Okay, thank you, sweetie. There you go, folks. Old single dad just knocked it out of the park. Hey, folks, you've already seen it one time this week. It's how old single dad eats right here. Okay, you ain't got time to sit down. You just eat when and how you can. Anytime your baby sit down and just devour everything on the plate and ask for seconds, you know you knocked it out of the park. Mm. Oh my gosh. Mm. So look, you look in there and you think all you got is a few eggs, a little loaf of bread, you can easily turn this into a great meal. Now, folks, I didn't even smother this with the, uh, I didn't even smother this with syrup. I only had just enough on the bottom, if you can see right there. But it was just enough to flavor it for them. So another successful breakfast by old single dad. Mmm.